Hello everyone, this is Kiwi Nina Mori and I'm doing a box opening of a package I got from uh, Rook Severe and I I'm really happy about it. Um, so I was actually commissioning Rook Severe for a wig because I really love the wigs that they make, um, especially for one doll in particular was the Talik, um, is a custom character by uh, Rook Severe and I just had to have um, a wig <laughs> for one of my dolls that, um, by this person. I was just like, yes. And then I found out later that they actually were selling a Meek's doll head and I'm just like, okay, well now I have to get this as well while you're, while you're gonna be shipping me a wig anyway. So can I get this head on layaway? Um, so really most amazing person because they let me do um, a very interesting layaway for the head. And especially with the holiday season coming up, they went ahead and shipped it early because um, the, the rush and the packages are gonna be, <laughs> be in transit longer and perhaps get lost at this time of year. So I'm really happy that I could go ahead and like uh, get, get in, early, in early before the season. So, um, they sent this postcard, which is awesome. I like getting all the art because they do go up on my wall. And so, so this is the, the head. And I, I really like Meek Stall sculpts. They're so unique and I just always think like when a new one comes out, I'm like, what character would I make this into? <laughs> I try to stick with dolls that are already in my storyline and it's hard to resist when you want to just grab a sculpt that looks interesting and then you realize like it might take me a while to figure out who they're going to be so I should hold off until I know and so I was really happy that this this head was showing up on the marketplace because I I realized what character I would want him to be so like yes I finally get a chance because I missed the pre-order the first time around so this is the Meek Stall box and it's so cool I love this art and the signature behind it ah. I collect all of my boxes my stamp and forever so my wig is also in here and so this is a COA so I did get the Lazlo head. It's a nice, beautiful COA. I like, <laughs> I like keeping up with all of mine. I feel like I should get like a binder to put them all in so I can look at it later. And it even has like a, an actual stamp, a wax seal. And I'm just like, that's pretty cool. And I, <laughs> I wish I could do that with like letters. Just send someone like, who wants to be a pen pal so I can use wax seals? Cause that, that's pretty fun. Okay, let's see this guy. All right. He has such a unique face. I'm like really torn about like what character he should be, but I kind of singled it down. I really like his nose and his chin. Look at this. So he's got got a lot of charisma on him and <laughs> sharp features I'm just like so he is sort of like an antagonist <laughs> which is kind of funny because that's kind of um typical for sharp featured characters um but it fits his character so I'm not going to steer away from that and then like this is really nice resin too and they also have the like the stamp on the inside as well for Meek Stall. I like, I really like the sculpt work as a whole. They have these balls on the top with the magnets to keep the head on, which is really helpful because I, I do other old box opening videos and then the head cap goes flying across and I don't want to edit it out. So that's usually in a lot of my videos. And this is great that this head cap stays on so well. So I'm like really excited. I'm probably going to send him out for a face up very soon because it's that time of year where it's not humid so face up artists are kind of kicking out the orders really fast trying to get holiday money and get ready for the season. I'm like yes time to send out all of my heads. <sighs> and so I also have 
the wig, which I actually had custom for um, a doujin head, switch doujin, because I also have one and so does Rook Severe, and so I really love this color. And it's so cute! Because it's so hard to find cute boy hairstyles, like, oh, I love finding artists and wig makers who can actually cut short boy hair. It's so adorable, I love it. He has like a little swoop, he looks so fancy. Like, they, okay, so, yeah, so this is a doujin head. And you might remember I had one earlier on in my collection, and yes, I, I have <laughs> one again. Because I, I do really like this sculpt and I am always attached to my characters. It's, oh my gosh, okay. He looks epic. I love this wig. It's like a little cute tuft at the back of his head and it's like, <laughs> like a duck butt. <laughs> and he's so adorable. So I love this and oh gosh, I'm so happy that I could come with the head and I'm just like, I don't have to wait over the holidays and him getting stranded in customs, but so I will start having fun with this. So much to do. I also have another Meek doll head coming in. I ordered the Lucian head, and that one's gonna be in like a tan skin, so he's gonna be fabulous. I may have to dye a body to match the head, but I'm really excited about that because he's gonna be super cute, and he has elf ears, and I haven't had like a tan elf boy <laughs> before. I had like, um, sun, sun tanned by Peakswood, but that, is barely even tan <laughs> so it didn't feel like I had a tan elf boy and so I'm really happy that I'm gonna have like a legit one soon that that's gonna qualify as tan and not just I I, I baked in the sun for a little bit <laughs> all right so I will post more videos up as I customize and I'll have to do another video of um, my other boy Sitka, so he has a face up and a wig now, so I'm gonna show that in a different video, and gonna start sewing his clothes as well. So I will see you guys again later. Have a great day.